Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today I am doing a tutorial on how to make dark chocolate ganache and how to decorate the cake and how to coat the cake with the ganache. And this is the cake I am making. If you want to see this video, keep on watching. I hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. So let's start. Chocolate ganache, we need dark chocolate and whole cream, heavy cream. This is 30% uh, fat cream, but you can take uh, in between 30 to 35% of fat. And uh, this is uh, 410 grams of dark chocolate. I have chopped into small pieces so that uh, it will be easy to melt it down. So my chocolate is at room temperature and cream also. So now I'll just pour the cream over the chocolate and microwave it and this is a delicate step because you don't want chocolate to burn so you have to keep an eye on it and uh, first I will do for one minute and after that I'll do 30-30 seconds and stir in between so the chocolate and cream ratio should be 2 is to 1 like if two cups of chocolate you have then the cream should be one cup so now I'll microwave it one minute is done now I will stir it well if you don't want to use microwave you can do this on double boiler also or you can uh, just uh, boil the cream in a saucepan and pour it over the chocolate and keep stirring it so the chocolate will melt slowly by slowly in only one minute the chocolate has melted down quite well I don't think I need to microwave it more my chocolate is all melted down and mixed with the cream it's very smooth and shiny so I'm done in one minute but if you can still see chocolate pieces in your ganache, you can definitely microwave it according to how many pieces you can see. Maybe you can do just for 10 seconds, 20 seconds or 30 seconds or maybe 2 times 30, 30 seconds. It's depending on how many chocolate pieces you are left with. See how smooth and chocolatey, shiny it is. So now I will allow it to cool down on room temperature and then I will cover it and keep it in the fridge overnight. Pardon this tattoo, my daughter made it on my hand. I find not wash it down. So now it has come to the room temperature. Now I will cover it with a cling film and keep it in my fridge overnight. It's hot, that's why I'm keeping it in the fridge. If you are in cold temperature, you can leave it on your kitchen also. And uh, it's not like mandatory that you have to leave it for overnight. Uh, I have time so I'm doing it. If you don't have time you can make it same day. You can make uh, in the morning or afternoon and you can use in the evening. It just need to be cooled down so that it can thicken up and then we will whip it. But you can use it like this also for the glazing of your cake. And uh, when it will be cooled down and form up you can use that also or you can whip up also in three ways we can use it so I'm gonna use by whipping it so that I'm gonna do tomorrow and I'll show you guys so to cover it up I'm using a cling wrap it's important how you cover it because uh, if you leave any air inside it will make a layer on the top which we don't want so I'm just very gently pressing it down so that it touch to the surface of the ganache So 
close the cash. Look how stiff it is. I will transfer it into a big bowl and then we will blend it. I have this pretty flower to put on the top. I've covered it with the tape which we get in the cake decorating shops. 